The key is to give the patient the smile they want. Um, and the way that we do that is we want to design the smile first on models before we implement the plan for the patient. So we would get some impressions of the patient's teeth before we started, um, try to get some photographs of smiles that are attractive to the patient because teeth come in all sorts of different morphological shapes, um, and then thirdly get some photographs of the patient's teeth. Once we have all that, then we literally go into the lab and we start designing what we think would look nice and function well within the patient's existing bite scheme. Typically, I'll have the patient come back and sit down with me for a little smile design appointment where we just look at what we can do and, and what the patient has existing now and then make sure that those mesh pretty well. If the patient likes the design, then the next step is to go ahead and get the teeth ready for their veneers. Um, and then we hit another hurdle at that point. We're going to make provisional veneers because it takes typically three weeks to get veneers made in a good lab. You've got to wear something in the interim. So when the patient leaves, I want the patient to leave wearing provisionals that look as close as can be to the design that we've created for them. So once we make a design in wax, we literally take an impression of it, we call it a stent, and we use that stent to make the provisional veneers the patient's going to wear for that three-week period. Thank <laughs> you.